start with the axilla. Axilla is a space between the lateral wall of the thoracic cage and the medial side of the upper limb. This can be seen better when the arm is abducted. It has various boundaries. The anterior boundary of the axilla is formed by the muscles, the pectoralis major, the pectoralis minor and a small muscle which is known as the subclavius. The posterior wall is formed by the, by the subscapularis which is on the costal aspect of scapula, by the teres major and the, and the latissimus dorsi. The lateral wall is formed by the shaft of the humerus, which end with the coracobrachialis, short head of biceps, brachii, and the long head of biceps, brachii muscles. The medial wall of the axilla is formed by the important serratus anterior muscle. Now the apex, the apex of the axilla is formed by the outer border of first rib, under aspect of the clavicle and the upper border of the scapula. This is the region of the apex of the axilla. The floor is formed by the fascia, axillary fascia, which is across the anterior wall and the posterior wall of the axilla. Now the contents of the axilla. Axilla has various group of lymph nodes, the anterior or pectoral group of lymph nodes, posterior group of lymph nodes, the lateral group of lymph nodes, the central group of lymph nodes, and the, and the apical group of lymph nodes. The artery, the axillary artery is there, and this axillary artery has various branches. From the first part, there is superior thoracic artery. From the second part is the, is the thoracoacromial and lateral thoracic artery and from the third part are the subscapular, anterior circumflex humeral and the posterior circumflex humeral arteries.